Have you seen that TikTok? That is Starbucks cake pop. It's funny to me. I need to pull out of my driveway real quick. Everybody's outside. They're playing hopscotch. Oh my fucking god! All the kids are just sitting on the island watching me pull out. This is mortifying. Right now, I'm going to get my mom's pills. We're getting her prescription from Rite Aid, and I was like, you know what? I'll just film my intro right now because why not? Move, move, bitch. Oh my god! There was almost an accident in front of us. Holy. Shit. At least it wasn't us though. Okay, so since you guys liked my homophobic church videos, so I was like, you know what? We're gonna do some more prank call videos. In today's prank call video, oh my god, please don't bike in front of me. I'm not trying to get a hit and run. Or not hit and run, manslaughter. Well, it's not a hit and run unless you run. I just think of Wendy Williams. She goes, is it manslaughter? What does that mean? So today's video concept, I'm going to be calling random dads and I'm going to be confessing my love to them because a few months ago I put on my story, I asked you guys, by the way, go follow my Instagram. If you go follow my Instagram, you can DM me uh, phone numbers. You can DM me your deepest, darkest secrets. A few months ago, I put on my story, I was like, give me your dad's numbers, like don't ask. And I forgot I did that. So that's what we're gonna do today. Am I running out of ideas? Yes, I've been out of ideas since 2020. And I also really badly need a Red Bull because I can feel my brain curdling as we speak. I have worms for brains. <laughs> just go just side swipe that car. You look so stupid all the time. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting a haircut on the 19th. Thank God. When my hair doesn't look Look good, I don't feel good. Oh my god, is he dead? What? Holy shit, that guy was just like lying on a steering wheel. Let's have a heart to heart real quick, everyone, okay? Um Okay, great. That was awesome. There's nothing happening behind these eyeballs. I may look like I'm actively thinking, but I'm not. Where are you going with this? It's something called stalling. You have to say thank you to Current before we start because they're our sponsor. I have to say thank you to Current? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll Oh like my god, chill out. A big thank you to Current for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Current is, it is the new wave of banking. Current makes banking so much easier. It is authentic, it is real. It's a super easy way of banking because it's all on your phone. One of the many perks of Current is that you can get your paychecks early. They give you instant notifications. They also give you insights on your spending. Current has given you the technology to make it something easy for you. It allows you to customize your savings and getting points back from your favorite places to shop. Financing should not be difficult. And that's why I like Current. And you also get a Visa debit card. Look how cute this is. Are you kidding me? If you want to check out Current, just click the link in my description. Once again, thank you Current for sponsoring today's video. Me and Nikki say thank you. I have an amazing skill of making my room look clean when it's not and like behind us like there's only a tripod but what I see there's a lot also there was a spider that crawled under there like oh. but like two days ago it like wasn't like now so I don't know where he went oh my god you have a pimple right on your nose can I pop it where is it right there like it's not poppable yet it's not even a light you pen. say that because it's not a challenge you want to do the honor of the first call what is this video even <laughs> We're calling random dads and, and we're confessing our love to them. Do they know you're a little... Sorry, I am unable to answer the phone at this time. Hey Kevin, um, this is Caden's friend and recently I've been like coming to a realization that like, you know, like I come over to your house a lot to like hang out with Caden, but I think I would much rather spend like time with you. Like, like one-on-one, -on -one, you know? <sighs> That is on his dad's voicemail. There is a number from my area code. So I could be calling, you know, like my next door neighbor for all that we know. I'm scared. Someone just said, bitch, my dad left. Hello. Hi, is this Max? Yes, yeah, hello, how can I help you? Um, I was just calling, I'm your daughter's friend. Um, and I just like, I needed to get some stuff off my chest and I thought it would be better if I just called you. Please. Um, as you know, I've been coming over a lot, hanging out with your daughter. Um, we're really close friends. Which, which, which one of my daughters? Uh, Aya. Oh, okay. And you, and you, what's your name? Oh, I'm Jessica. Oh, hi, Jessica. I've been coming over a lot, hanging out with your daughter, but I've realized that even though I've been spending a lot of time with her, I would wish that I could spend more time with you. <laughs> Um, and I don't know, this sounds just like super weird and I know this is probably like a lot to take in, but like, I think I've grown feelings for you and I don't know how to tell her that because like, I, I wouldn't want to like make this situation weird for either of us. 
So you're my daughter's friend? So how do you know me? I'm her dad. Yeah, I feel like we've met before. Jessica, I don't know who you are. I don't. I think this makes no sense to me, to be honest with you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what is this coming from. Um, But I totally understand if you don't want to, you know, like, pursue it. I'm not going to pursue anything. You're my daughter's friend, for God's sake. What, are you crazy? Oh. Ah! Oh my God, cops on your ass. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. If they shit. Um. Like, can I film? Can I literally film? Nathan, he's anti-vax and loves God if it helps. You're all, I really think I have feelings for you and I got the vaccine. Please leave your message. Hey Myron, um, I am one of Jamie's friends and I know this is a little weird for me to be just calling you. The other week, uh, you dropped us off at the movies and before I got out of the car, I, I looked at you and I, I felt butterflies and I didn't know like, I haven't told Jamie yet. If you want to call me back, this is a lot to deal with for me personally. So I hope you don't judge me. Bye Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie. Please leave your message for- No, I'm doing it again. He sent me straight to voicemail. He's there. I don't blame him. Hello? Hi, Adrian. This is Adrian, right? Yes. Hi, um, I'm Lily's friend, um, Jessica. Lily? Yeah, and I know this okay. is like super weird for me to be like calling you like one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you good? <clears throat> Was at school after like the bell rang and I saw you uh, pick her up. We, I, I don't know if you remember or not, but we locked eyes. For some weird reason, I, I got butterflies. And, but I wanted to get your thoughts because I, it felt like a very mutual connection from across the courtyard, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, well, uh, I, 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 I guess I'm, um, uh, how do you say, uh... <laughs> I don't mean to freak you out. I know this is a lot. No, And I was like, wow, like, he looks like such a good dad. And then, you know, yeah. I, I did some stalking, you know, like, on, like, Lily's, like, Instagram and stuff. And you you been stalking? <clears throat> yeah, I was. I just really wanted to, like, get to know you. Okay, for one, <laughs> how the hell did you get my number? That's what I'm asking. You know, I have, I asked around about you. What do I look like? Um, you look uh, very tall. Uh, and you were wearing a hat. Is that right? I'm super flattered, but how old are you? I just turned 18, luckily. You're 18, right? Where, where, what school did she go to? Oh, um... Yeah, thank you. Don't think about it. Just say it. She goes to, um... I first, I literally thought he was going to pursue, yeah. but then he was like messing with me because he knew I was full of shit. He's all, what school does she go I to? What do I look like? And her profile picture is too small for me to like see what she looked like to like try and like imagine up what he looked like. At the tone, please record your message. Hi, Matt. I'm Sam's girlfriend, Bailey. Not you saying your real name. <laughs> oh, that's humiliating. <laughs> Hello, who is this? Hi, uh, is this Frank? Yeah, who is calling? Oh, I'm Reese's friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, is, is Frank there? Who is this? Uh, you know who it is, I'm your friend. I wanted to talk to your dad. No, no you don't. Yes, I do. I'm calling back. Hello? Hi, Frank. Um, I'm Hi. Reese's friend and I just wanted to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Clearly, Reese didn't want me to talk to you. Maybe she caught the vibe. <laughs> Reese said, no, you don't want to talk to him. I was like, okay, well, why would you give me the number? People will literally give me their parents' numbers and then tell me, no, don't do it, they're strict. Well, well, honey, that sounds like an invitation. It's Levi. Ooh, Levi sounds like a good name that would answer. Hi, Levi. God, that name just, I feel like, it's me good fun. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, is this Levi? No. This is his daughter, Madison. Oh, is your dad around? Uh, no, he's not. Damn it. Well, Madison, uh, you haven't called me back all summer. You need to hang out. But I also want to see your dad, too. Janessa, okay. Do you want to call Moises? And he's homophobic. Oh, Ooh, per. this is good. Is his name Moises? Hello? Hi, is this Moises? Is he? Hi, this is uh, Janessa's friend. Um, I'm her gay best friend. Um, I just wanted to call you because I had to get something off my chest. And I haven't told Janessa this yet. I don't know who you are. I'm Janessa's friend, um, Brooke. Well, you sound like you're like 21 or something. 
I just really needed to call you and tell you that <clears throat> I think there's a really strong connection between us and I feel like we're soulmates. I don't want to like make you feel uncomfortable and I also don't want to make Jessica feel uncomfortable. That's why she doesn't know. What did I say? Jess? You need to leave my daughter alone. Uh, well, okay, well, your your daughter wanted you, me to... You, you need to leave hands off of her and stop talking to her. I'll put a restraining on your ass. I don't want to talk to you and you leave my daughter alone or you're going to be... You're gonna be dealt with. Get a restraining on. Okay, bye.